everybody and welcome to Pop Science again. So, my name is Anne, I'm the smallest of the Nutty Professors and Raquel, who is um, behind the camera, she's going to say hi. Hi guys. And she is the tallest of the Nutty Professors. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, go over to Raquel, who is going to do the health and safety to do with this experiment. Yep, so health and safety. As usual, they're very important health and safety. So we are using water with this one. So with liquids, uh, let's prevent any slips, trips or falls. So if it does get spilt, mop it up or wipe it up. Uh, secondly, possibility of breaking glass. We are using a lot of glass uh, tumblers and other various glass instruments. So just be aware of breaking glass. Wear old clothes. Uh, only because if you do get wet through, you can change into better ones. And as always, adult supervision. So I shall pass you over now to the lovely Anne again. Right guys, so this is what you need for this experiment. You don't exactly need a great deal. I hope you have lots of fun with it. So, you need... Glasses of various sizes. Well, you can use the same size, but we've used various sizes to see what results we get. So we have actually got one, two, three, four that are of a similar size and three smaller ones. Also, we've got ones with different rims that are different thicknesses. We notice that these two have got thinner rims. Those two are just about the same. And these three have got rims that are a little bit thicker. So the idea of this is you fill them with different amounts of water. So we'll notice that we've all got different amounts of water in. So you can put as much water in as you want to see what the results are like. So these are pretty full. That's got a bit less in. Roughly the same amount with that one, but that's got a thinner rim. That one's nearly to the top. That one's just at the top nearly, and that one's a bit lower down. So that basically is what you need in water. And you can either use a chopstick, or if you've got chopsticks or not, a pencil. So Raquel is going to explain what we're doing and I'm going to have a go at doing the experiment. So what I want you to do is if you've got a notepad and you can even use your pencil if you have got one with that's got a lead on it to write down what you think happens this experiment. What do you think we're going to do? What do you think is going to happen when we do it? And what do you think the result's going to be? So take two minutes just to think about what, what you think is going to happen with this experiment. And then Raquel is going to like say explain and I'm going to, to do the experiment. Yep. Yeah. So well, welcome again. Um, so the instructions for this is fair, very simple. Not fairly simple, but very simple. So all what we need is, and you can use mixed ones, or ones which are virtually the same glasses, which Anne's already said. So we'll line our eight glasses up on the on the tabletop surface, so somewhere where the skewer, so they can't easily be knocked off if there is any accidents. And we fill each one with different levels of water. So as you can see, that's just over our full, whereas this one, as you can see, is virtually filled to the top. So we do each one of these with varying amounts of water. And then what we do after we've done that, so step two, is we take the pencil and lightly tap it on the rim. Uh, I will say it is lightly, so don't, don't go around like a hammer. It has to be quite, quite light. You don't need to really grab your pencil. Just do it between like two fingers. Like that. Yeah. So Anne's going to demonstrate that. So what do you think will happen? So so yeah, which we've already asked. So let's see what happens when Anne does this.
There we go. Oh, thank you. So now I'm going to pass you over to the lovely Anne to do the ex explanation of this experiment. Right, guys. So what happens is the sounds are produced by what's called vibrations. Each vibration has its own speed, called a frequency. Hitting a glass with a pencil produces this type of vibration. The vibration speed depends on the amount of water in the glass. A full glass has a fast vibration speed, so produces a higher pitched sound than an empty glass. So that's a high pitched sound, that hasn't got as much in. So, depending on the water level, the glass will have a faster or slower resonant speed. The sound will differ depending on the conditions. So there you go. So you don't need a lot to do this. Hope you have lots of fun with it. Don't break anything and don't spill anything. And we hope that you actually reach the answers maybe before we did it or you've got the answers now. So it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from me so till next time take care and bye bye for now